Cameron. I'm here with Danny. I want to give you a little update on Monza's 70 Chevelle. It's a no crap Kings car. I'm sure most of you guys have already seen it or heard about it. It'll be a really cool deal. He's going to run it. I think it's season five next year, uh, the NPK deal. Wanted to get with Danny and have him explain to you what he's done on this. Other than a few bars, Danny's pretty much done everything. Uh, him and Scott have been on this and Clay's car pretty much nonstop for about three or four weeks. I've got about 120 hours myself into it. Yeah, which is the majority of, of this car. Uh, Danny's done all the tubes. So other than the welding and some of the straight tubes Scott has done. So we just wanted to give you an update on how we got here, what's done, what's left. Uh, at this point, we're kind of uh, Eddie's machine in the mid plate now to fit the frame rail, dual frame rail. Uh, but we're pretty much at a stopping point right now until we get carbon. There's not a whole lot more we can do. We got where the, the funny car cage is fit, so he can come when he comes from the open house in 18. He can we can fit him for pedals and figure out where steering wheel needs to be for him to make sure he's comfortable in the car. So, how'd you get to this point, Danny? How did I get to this point? Yeah. Do you, do you remember? A lot of work. <laughs> no, we just, uh, like I'm sure you've probably seen in some of the other videos, we start with this cross member here and then we put the main frame rails in and then we put transmission cross member and four link brackets, X brace here in the center and we just get the bottom section kind of done and then we go and start putting in the double frame rails. We get those in both sides with all these gussets and tubes we have for that. And then we go to the back, and then we start by mocking up this position, put this tube in, and then we get that in position, we put the X in, we put the X in the center, and these go in, and then we work on the back with the main rails and upper rails. Main thing here is you have to watch off for clearance. Every car is different. When you put the body out, we had a body out to find this, otherwise you'd never know. And that is we want to get it as high as possible without, of course, getting into the rear window. And there's always a, a, tr uh, a piece of sheet metal that runs from quarter panel to quarter panel right in this area. And we always want to get as close as we can to that. But usually that is back in this area here. But this never, you know, it's a little below the window, this, a little below the sheet metal, if possible. And uh, then we, once we know those dimensions, then we make these upper bars with the body on. Then we take the body off because it's so much easier to work on. And then we just, all the gusseting, X bracing, laddering, get all that done. And next step is, well, I've, I've kind of missed the main hoop earlier. That goes in way before the double frame rails. But then we start putting in the funny car cage, start with this bar, which is a hang in the neck to build. And then get the seat back, figure out where you're gonna have the seat in there. Then this bar goes around the back and then we put our funny car cage rear bars in. And that's kind of how we get there. It's just like a puzzle. You do one thing, and then we can't do the next thing maybe until we find out what's going to clear, and we figure all that out and move on from there. And it's just a process. all we can do on it right now like Cameron said until we get our carbon which would be the front end and the doors once we get those then we can put the body back up on the jig fasten it to get it where we want it get it located so it's nice and straight and square and then we can take the doors and we have these plates that are about four and a half inches square that we will clico the plates to the door and to the quarter panel to get it located right where it needs to be, body lines lined up. Then we can put the front end up there and line up with the front of the doors, height, proper height. And once we get that, then we can locate our dash bar. You want it naturally, it can't go in front of the mid plate, but we want to get it like so it's in that general area. And then once we get that located with the jig we have for that, then we can run the bars from here that go up to the dash bar tack wall all that in, now our dash bar is in position. Once then, since we don't have eight pillars with this car, we have to just simulate where it would be. And then we can run our eight pillar bar, because we know where it's gonna run down the eight pillar, we can tie that in to the dash bar. 
and then there's a roof bar that goes across and there's X bracing up in the roof and then we can proceed from there. But without having the carbon, we don't know where that dash bar goes. And until we know that, we're kind of in a standstill. Thank you.